Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about page navigation in Power BI. Now, page navigation has existed in Power BI for a long time now, uh, but over a period of time, uh, uh, they've introduced different options for page navigation. Now, in this video, I'm, I'm going to cover the various options that are available and talk about the pros and cons of each of these options. Now, we are in the Power BI desktop file. The, uh, this um, uh, file has three pages, sales, budget, and plan. Uh, now, this was the first option that was uh, introduced for page navigation. Uh, it's pretty basic. We click on insert, we can uh, go to buttons, create a blank button, and then uh, we create, uh, go into style, we can give it a name. Uh, let's say I'm going to call this budget and, oops, leave that on. And then basically we create a button, uh, uh, button and uh, select an action for it. Uh, now, back option is a very popular one. There is also bookmarks if you want to, uh, if you are using bookmarks. But since we are talking about page navigation, let's go to page navigation. And then I can pick the destination of when this button is clicked, where do I want it want to go? In this case, I want to go to budget. And there is an option to make it dynamic as well. Uh, we'll cover the dynamic option uh, shortly, right? Um, now, there are, uh, you know, uh, this button can be, uh, configure, there's a whole bunch of configuration. You can uh, select the various uh, on hover, what should happen on press and so forth, the background colors and so forth, and uh, and different uh, shapes that are available. A whole bunch of them are available. Um, and of course, there's a whole lot of configuration in terms of styling. You could um, icon, fill color, border, shadow, background color, and so forth. But uh, we got, you know, those are just standard um, configuration, so we're not going to go into that. I'm assuming uh, you all are familiar with uh, configuration. Well, let's say this button is configured the way we want, and then I can copy and uh, paste this. So we have uh, another button with the same exact configuration, and this time I can call this, uh, go to text, call this plan, and we're going to change the action on this one to go to plan page, uh, it's a page navigation on um, on click. So now uh, we have this selected. So uh, so if I, uh, uh, since I'm in Power BI desktop, I need to control click, but basically when I click on this budget button, it takes me to the budget page, all right? And I need to, uh, similarly, I can add these buttons, just highlight them, um, copy and paste it in uh, the budget page and this time, since I'm already in the budget page, I'm going to rename this as sales. So on click of this, I want to go to sales. And the action is go to sales, page navigation, go to sales is my destination. All right, so so I think you already see uh, the cons of this one, right? Of course, the pros are it gives you uh, all the features that a button has in terms of configuration and how you want to set it up. But in, uh, but let's say you add a new page or delete a new page or you want to change something, you have to go and change these buttons in each of the pages that that you have them. So it's a lot of work. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's, it's very tedious uh, to maintain these uh, buttons and page navigation in each of the pages. And here in this example, I have three pages, but typically in most of my reports, there are um, close to, you know, at least 10 pages, if not more, you know, on an average around 10 pages. So that, uh, and if I have a menu of 10, it becomes a little hard to maintain these, All right? So so this is option one. So let's uh, check out the second option. All right, so option two is um, same thing. It is in the button um, menu option. Now, if you go to navigator, there, there's page navigator and bookmark, you know, bookmark does something similar, but since we're working with page navigation, I'm gonna pick page navigator. And now what this creates is a set of navigation options, set of menu options. So in this case, I have three because I have three pages. I'm in the budget page, so budget is selected. So, you know, right off the bat, I have all the buttons that I uh, want created right away. In the previous option, you know, we had to create three different buttons. It was more painful, right? So we have, we have this option selected, I mean, created right away. And what this provides is all the, in terms of configuration, formatting, it provides all the same options that we have in button. So uh, we can create a, uh, this is right now in horizontal orientation, I can make it vertical and um, you know, you could have this 
spread out uh, vertically if i can get it working there you go um, so you can have it on the left menu uh, as a left menu if you choose to and uh, there's a grid option as well um, and of course the horizontal option that we were in earlier so right away just with a with one click of a button we have this option we have all the uh, formatting options that are available and uh, the cool thing is here um, in the pages section we can choose to show hidden pages like right now i have budget and plan as uh, hidden so if i uncheck those then you see only sales because that's the only uh, unhidden button so option that's an option um, and then uh, uh, of course if you have a tooltip page you can choose to show that or not and uh, you know show all the all by default so you know few options to get started and also if you expand show um, you can uh, let's say you have a lot of, let's say i don't want to show uh, budget as an option i can uncheck that so i have only sales and plan and then of course if i control click it goes to sales let me navigate back to budget so uh, so it's easy to configure this right it's a click of a button you, we have the uh, we have the menu uh, options and then i can easily configure uh, the ones that i need to show um, and you know i don't have to go individually to each button and configure so it's uh, it's e it's easy and then uh, now if i want to have this in each of the pages all i need to do is copy this and paste it and there you go now it automatically recognizes that i am in sales so it highlights this as this is the current page and the budget and plan are the other two pages so pretty straightforward now one drawback of this is it does not provide us with uh, the ability to dynamically configure the navigation uh, since it's based on page name uh, this uh, is uh, by default it takes the page name as well so let's say i call this uh, budget new or something like that now it automatically changes uh, the name on my menu as well or page navigator as well so uh, that's kind of a good i don't know you can take it as a drawback or it's a nice thing to have uh, but of course you do not have the option for dynamically dynamic navigation which we'll get to uh, shortly um, where i can you know configure it based on different users how to dynamically configure the click of a button where you want to go where the page navigates to so two options uh, one is uh, you know more tedious the second option of creating a page navigator easy um, easy to get started and uh, you know, quick to implement uh, and it's not as tedious to maintain as well okay now we move to option three and this is a more advanced option in my uh, in my mind so this is basically a combination of a slicer and a button okay uh, now the slicer is basically what the slicer has right in my scenario is the pages so if let's say i select uh, it's a single select slicer so i select budget and then uh, since i am in power bi desktop i'm going to click on control and go and then it goes to the budget page and then i can click sales and navigate back to the sales page now how to get this working right so this is a little more advanced we need uh, to create a uh, a couple of tables and create some measures to get this working so what i have here is if i go to the data view i have two tables now let's go to the page table so this basically lists the pages that i want now there is a sales budget plan these are my pages and i also have a select page this is my default so it shows up as my first option and i have an order as well so page is ordered by this page order field so uh, select a page is my first option and then um, sales budget and plan are the other options uh, sequentially so that's the simple part right and um, now uh, so the, so i have that here right um, and then i can also add um, security on this as well but before we get to security let me show you how this works without security right so this page navigation is basically comes from the page table i just showed you and then i have this measure uh, now all this measure does is it uh, gets the selected page name and the page number which is the order in my case now if it is page uh, the page number is zero then it's blank so don't do anything um, if not it returns the name of the page right so uh, if i go back to the table page number is zero that means it's select a page i don't want to go anywhere just stay where it is um, and otherwise go to any of these pages that are selected so that's my navigation measure right 
Now, what I did was if I select go, so this is basically a simple button. If I, I want to insert button, blank button, just like the option one, created a simple button. But in this case, when I go to action, I uh, type is page navigation, but I picked, picked it to be dynamic and I set the field value to be the navigation measure. So based on what we select, and um, if I select sales, it goes to sales. If I select budget, it goes to budget. So, um, so that makes it dynamic, right? And on top of this, we can add security, right? Let's say in our scenario, a certain set of users can see only a subset of these pages, right? So if I go to the table view, I have another created another table called page navigation. And in this table, what I've defined is for each page, for example, here main sales and budget uh, is uh, and, and plan. Now, right now I don't have a main page, but if I did, um, it, all these pages are uh, visible to the admin. Whereas uh, the sales user can see only the sales and plan page and the finance user can see the sales and budget page, right? So let's say I log in uh, using the view as functionality. I log in as a sales user. Uh, let's let's start. Um, let's do sales. All right. Sales um, at obvious.com. Now if I log in as this user in my dropdown, I see only two options, sales and plan, right? Um, and if I log in as a, a finance user, I see sales and budget. So I'm using basically um, the, uh, the table I just showed you and added uh, row level security to show only the options that that particular user has access to, right? How did I, how did I create the security? So if I go to manage roles, um, so I've created a new role called uh, navigation and in the pages, I've added this particular um, piece of code here. So what this does is, if the page order is zero, so if it's the if it's the select a page option, then it's true, just return true, everybody can see it. Else, I've added this particular um, piece of code. Um, so it returns page navigation if the page uh, if the page navigation page name equals is the same as the page, so uh, it matches, and the user email matches the user. Um, now what is uh, so basically I am doing uh, uh, if you are uh, if you are familiar with Excel it's kind of a VLOOKUP right so I'm doing a kind of VLOOKUP to figure out which user has got access to which page now what is user user is basically the user principal name um, so so basically I'm checking if I log in as finance give me the subset of this table page navigation that has the email address of finance and which page names that I have access to. So this this will give me only that subset and that is available here in my dropdown, right? So, so the advantage of this option of using uh, a slicer with a button is you can add uh, a lot more um, complexity to, to, to it, right? You not just making it dynamic, which you can do it with just a button, um, but you can also add uh, security around it, and um, you know it, it gives you a lot more options. All right. So those are my three different navigation options. First is a simple uh, button where each page uh, you create a different button. You can you have the option of making it dynamic, which we uh, cover kind of in the third option, right? Uh, but it's a lot more tedious because you got to create multiple buttons, and then each page uh, you need to add those buttons. Option two, easier. You, you, it's a it's a page navigator option in a button, so it creates all the all the different menu options right away, and then you can pick and choose which ones to show. And both the first and second option gives you a lot of options to uh, format it. Option three again, formatting. You can, you get everything, but it's a combo combination of slicer and a button and a lot more. Uh, DAX uh, creating measures and tables. So in this uh, option three, you have to maintain the table. If you're especially if you're adding a uh, row level security, or you need to maintain the table of who has got access to which table. All right. So those are the three options. Hope this uh, video is helpful and gives you an overall view of all the different uh, page navigation options in Power BI. Thanks for watching. And as usual, if you've got any questions, please reach out obvious.com.